Hello and welcome to DVB English News. I'm Joe. In this week's headlines, two Sagain towns come under national unity government control. Beijing acknowledges Chinese killed and fighting along its border. The military claims recent fighting may fracture Myanmar. The UN Special Rapporteur for Human Rights calls for broader sanctions on the military. The National Unity Government, or NUG, claimed that the People's Defense Force has seized control of several towns in Sagain since Monday. The NUG Ministry of Defense stated that the PDF seized control of Kowloon on November 6th. It is located in northern Sagain near Ketchin and Shan states. Over 50,000 people in the town have become displaced due to the fight. Ten bodies were recovered. The next day, on November 7th, the NUG announced that the town of Kampat was seized by the PDF, along with its allies in the Qin Resistance and the Ketchin Independence Army, or KIA. Kampa is located near the India-Myanmar border. The number of casualties has not been reported. Both towns are now under the control of the NUG and its allies. In solidarity, the Kareni Nationalities Defense Force seized a military outpost in Meisei Township of Kareni State, located along the Thai-Myanmar border. A Chinese citizen was killed and three were injured on November 4th. An unnamed source from the military's air defense forces said that it conducted airstrikes on Liza but the shells landed inside China. The source added that Napidaw apologized to Beijing during a meeting. Liza is the KIA headquarters and is located on the China-Myanmar border. China's foreign ministry spokesperson Wang Wenbin said that Beijing expressed strong dissatisfaction with the fighting in Northern Shan State. He acknowledged the death of the Chinese and added that Beijing will take measures to protect its citizens living near the Myanmar border. The military installed acting president Mian Tsui said that the offensive by anti-coup resistance forces may fracture the country if it is not contained. He made these remarks during the National Defense and Security Council meeting in Naypyida on November 8th. The Brotherhood Alliance has seized around 150 military outposts in northern Shan state since October 27th. It consists of the Myanmar National Democratic Alliance Army, or MNDAA, Daang National Liberation Army, or TNLA, and Arakan Army, or AA. Military coup leader Min Online claimed that the MNDAA seeks to restore its power and profits from drug trafficking. The UN Special Rapporteur on the Situation of Human Rights in Myanmar, Tom Andrews, sat down for an exclusive interview with DVB. Andrews discussed sanctions on the Myanmar Oil and Gas Enterprise, or MOGE. The US and Canadian governments imposed sanctions on it on October 31st. However, the sanctions will not fully block MOGE from foreign revenue as Washington declined to add it to the specially designated nationals list. These governments I'm recommending should sit down, take a look at how is it and why is it that the junta is able to continue its assault on the people of Myanmar? And what can we as an international community do to most effectively stop it? And then let's work together as a coherent whole, all of us, to take those actions that will stop the junta from continuing these attacks. So we're getting closer to this. These are steps in the right direction, but we need stronger steps. We need a broader sanctions. We need more countries in enforcing more sanctions. Um, we need a coordinated, and we need to have strong enforcement. I think that's the other key. Sanctions without enforcement are not sanctions. And there's a long way to go, I think, to the kind of enforcement that I think uh, is necessary. So a, a step in the right direction, many more steps to go. That was Tom Andrews, the UN Special Rapporteur on the Situation of Human Rights in Myanmar. And that's all for this week's headlines. I'm Joe. Stay tuned to DVB English News on Facebook, YouTube, X, Instagram, Threads, and TikTok. Follow us on Spotify, YouTube Music, Apple, and Google Podcasts.
We're available wherever you get your podcasts. Thanks for listening. Thanks for listening.